Hi, in this video, I want to show you how you can generate a docx file. Then uh, in the docx file, you're going to do some edits, some updates, make it uh, uh, perfect, just like you want to send it out. And then you're going to use the live edit components to actually use that docx file and add form fields to it, add signers to it, uh, maybe do some other updates via PDF Butler and then use that uh, an action like mailing or uh, sending it out for signing uh, to, uh, to finalize the process on the document. Let's get into it. First, let me show you the process. I'm going to generate the docx file. And then let's open the docx file. The document here is a uh, real estate lease agreement. And in this uh, real estate le uh, lease agreement, I want to make some updates. Maybe I want to say here that um, I, the utility section that I'm going to completely remove um, for some reason, uh, because it's possible, then I'm going to maybe put some text here, uh, including without limitations, the following use of uh, water and electricity. City. Okay, let's put this in highlight. Uh, okay, and okay, let's. Uh, let, we can of course now do all of the changes that we want. Let's also maybe highlight the uh, the um, the roles here: land, rule, lord, and tenant. And I want to put in underline, and I want to underline them as well. Okay, so. The, uh, the changes were done now. We have added some, uh, um, some texts here. We have updated the, uh, the, the items that we needed to update. Uh, maybe let's say that we, last but not least, we want to update this date over here. And then I say, I'm going to save this document. Next up, I want to uh, use this document. So I'm going to uh, click the button Upload Files here. You can also drag and drop it. And I'm going to use the document over here to then continue the process. As you can see now, my docx file is uploaded. And when I use the, uh, the uh, sending of the contract, then it will actually use this docconfig, uh, sorry, use this docx and overwrite the docx that's in the docconfig to finalize the steps like adding the form fields and adding the signers. Let me click the button. It will use this uh, document. It's already done and it's sent out for signing. So my sign request is created. Uh, let's take a look at the sign requests. This is my sign request. So um, as you can see, I have just created it and it's in status pending. So I can now continue the signing of this uh, sign request. My uh, emails have been sent out and the two signers got an email to sign it in parallel. How do I, how did I set this up? Okay. So first of all, I started generating a contract management, uh, doc config, uh, for step one. And that's generating the document. And in this step one, as you can see over here, I fill in the amount, the close date and the expiry date. Obviously, if you want to add more configuration, more complex stuff, all of that is possible. Let's take a look at the document. The document that I use here is, uh, as you can see, looks very much like the generated one. Uh, this is the merge fields that I'm going to fill in, the close date, the expiry date, and so on and so on. And then at the end, you will also see that I fill in some, uh, some names. Okay, so these merge fields here. Those are not part of the doc config that I have over here in step one. Means that I want to use these merge fields in another step. And that's the step two. Uh, so this is some form fields that I want to add. So let's uh, close this one. Let's take a look at step two. So this is an other doc config. And this doc config actually will also have a configuration. And in this configuration, as you can see, I use the merge fields uh, today, signer one, signer two, and so on and so on, uh, to be, uh, to be filled. These are form fields that I want to generate. I want to create and add some placeholders, all the steps that are uh, to finalize this document after it has been edited. Now, um, this document here is actually not going to be used, the one that I have over here. 
Uh, why not? Because I'm going to use the one that I edited uh, and then override that in the live edit feature functionality. So how do I do that? Um, I first have created, of course, um, uh, put the live edit component on the page layout. As you can see over here, I uh, check the checkbox execute packs with document as override. So this means that when these packs are executed, it will also execute the doc config link to that pack. That is the leading doc config. And in that leading doc config, it will actually um, uh, run, uh, uh, use the PD, uh, docx file that is uploaded over here to start generating the configuration. And the configuration is the uh, items that I have over here, all of the config types. Now, uh, how does my doc, uh, my pack look? Let's take a look. My pack here is the uh, two-step contract to Steiners. So in this pack, I have a leading doc config. So that's the uh, contract management step two. And that's the doc config we have been looking at over here, as you can see. So again, the process, process is we generate a document using the doc config of step one. We edit the doc config, and then we override the use the docx file after the editing to actually run the doc config that is configured in the step two. And this is how you can actually now generate a document, uh, send it out for signing uh, or send it out for mail and actually add fields like the date, like uh, form fields, like signers and everything to the document while it's being sent out. So if you want to see the document uh, being ge generated, I can quickly go to the signing page. And in the signing page, you would see this is the update I done the 26th, uh, 2026. This is the uh, the highlighting that I have done over here. And also below, I have done some highlighting for the landlord and the tenants. And as you can also see is that now the merge fields for the dates have been put in there and the, uh, uh, the, uh, the signing placeholders and the form fields, all of them have been filled in step two. And then it ran the, uh, the rest of the pack and that's sending it out for signing with the actionable 